If you subcontract work to other businesses or receive work from others who also use ServiceMate, you don't need to go back to inefficient systems for managing these jobs. Using ServiceMate Network, you can send quote requests and work orders to other businesses directly from your account, even if they don't use ServiceMate themselves. You can provide subcontractors with clear job requirements, make it easy for them to fulfill these requirements, and generally manage and track the progress of subcontracted jobs. This all means you can work with other businesses as easily as your own team, keeping these types of jobs inside your ServiceMate account and with the same visibility and quality assurance you have over your normal jobs. ServiceMate Network is used in your online dashboard. There's barely any setup involved. Go to the add-on store, activate the ServiceMate Network add-on, and it will appear in your job cards online. You'd send a network request in a scenario where you're requesting another business provide you with a quote or you're engaging them to do a job in a subcontracting arrangement. A network request must be associated with a specific job in ServiceMate. Open a job card and click Network Request. First, set whether you're sending a request as a quote or a work order. All of the client and job details are imported from the job card, which you can edit to suit. The billing details are set to your business by default, as generally, the subcontractor would bill you for the work done and you would invoice the client separately. Next, click here to add different kinds of job requirements. You can add checklist items, Require specific photos. Have the contractor attach certain documents. And even have them complete electronic forms your business uses with an extension of the forms add-on. Finally, enter the email address of the business or individual you're subcontracting the work to, then click send. If the email address matches a separate ServiceMate account using Network, the request will arrive in their ServiceMate inbox, ready to be converted to a job in their account. They'll be able to treat the job much the same as any other job in their account, with the difference being that your business is their billing contact. As they complete job requirements, you'll be able to see this progress in real time within the associated job card of your own account. You can also send follow-up messages or file attachments to the contractor by clicking send message in the job diary. They can respond from their own job diary online or from the job actions menu in the app. Keep in mind that if you're the one receiving work from another business on the ServiceMate network, the same processes apply except you'll be the one on the receiving end of the request. If the email address you send to is for a business or individual who isn't on the ServiceMate network, including businesses which don't use ServiceMate at all, then they'll receive your request as an email. This email contains a link to a browser-based portal where they'll be able to accept or decline your request, view the details, and complete the job requirements. This browser-based portal works on any modern web browser on any mobile device or computer. Your subcontractors can complete checklist items, upload photos and videos, attach documents, and complete forms through this portal, all of which update in your job diary in real time. Contractors will be notified via email when you send them a message and can even enter their mobile number to receive text notifications. They can view and respond to your messages in the job diary at the bottom of the job portal, as well as enter general notes and upload other attachments.
If the business you're requesting work from uses ServiceMate but hasn't activated ServiceMate Network, they'll also be sent a link to this web-based portal. Network requests can have one of four statuses, visible in the network entry in your job diary. Sent, meaning the request has been sent but is neither accepted or declined. In progress, indicating the request has been accepted. Completed, meaning the contractor has checked off all quote or job requirements and has marked the request as completed. And declined, when they've chosen not to accept your request. Contractors can enter a reason for declining, which will come through to your job diary. If you find you're sending network requests with the same kind of job requirements over and over, then similar to the job templates add-on, you can create network request templates. Templates are a great way to streamline and systemize the creation of network requests. Simply click the drop-down, choose a template, and it will apply the template's preset job description and requirements. Network request templates can be found in the account settings online.